Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocklover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 using the No Step Back DLC in which we are playing as Lithuania and as you can see on screen we're gonna go ahead and go left and restore the Workers Republic during our struggle for independence the Soviets aided the creation of a Lithuanian Workers Republic although the Republic failed its leaders remained alive in both Lithuania and the USSR hence hope for a Workers Republic remains <coughs> And in which, ooh, the Rhineland was remilitarized. Now we can go with enter the opposition, or we could go with seek the support of the Soviets. Now for this campaign, I want to go and become Daddy's Stalin Daddy's little lapdog. Although the Red Army laid waste to Lithuania and brought our nation into a new era of Russian imperialism, we were we are without a chance to bring socialism to Lithuania without their assistance. Soon followed up with, ooh, also we're on a historical as well. Soviet military staff, that's not bad, that's actually pretty good. S Soviet volunteer force. When the Civil War begins, we get five infantry divisions, and local population gets more manpower. Ooh, when the Civil War begins, let's go and get Soviet volunteer forces. The USSR was practically overflowing with men ready to fight and die for the world revolution. Though Lithuania is just a mere stepping stone in the fight for a communist world, there's no shortage of brave Russian socialists ready to die for a cause. Now, my hope is that we do not become a puppet of the USSR, but we become a strong ally and become the what, Baltic Socialist Union or something like that, probably? <clears throat> or Baltic Socialist Republic or something like that, so. Here are national spirits. The low Iron Wolf threat. We also have Agarian society. We have underfunded military, which is pretty bad. The Japanese young officer car coup, huh? The Saimas. And now we have the Workers' Republic. We lose weekly stability, which is pretty bad. And then the Catholic opposition, of course, so. We'll see what happens, in which we are probably going to get... Ooh, well, it's even higher cost. Yeah, that's right. Higher cost. That kind of sucks. Not the five. Officer Corps, huh? <coughs> Second London Naval Treaty signed. Ooh, more division defense is not bad. I don't want to spend that army PP... Uh, army PP. PP just yet, because we do need more communist influence every single day, so... Yeah, we're going to lose a lot of political power, which isn't super good, but that's okay. Not... That's, eh, that's okay. So, like I said, this world is going ahistorical. Um, obviously, Germany is still going their normal route. Let's see, is UK, what are they up to? Anything different? I mean, it's only May, so we don't really know too much yet. Let's get some volunteer forces, because we want that civil war to fire as fast as possible. Thank you very much. Uh, Soviet military staff, not bad. Soviet equipment, eh, Soviet equipment. We cannot hope to topple the government without first gaining access to weapons and materials necessary to arm our militia. By reaching out to the Russians for assistance, we will gain extra armaments to support our armies, should the old government attempt to halt the revolution. Ooh, we only get 0.27 political power every single day. Wow, that's... Hmm, that makes me feel so good on the inside. But let's see. Ooh, he's a defense expert. A veteran minister, of course. Uh, high command cost, daily command power. Increase. He's an old guard, though. He's a veteran anti-Bolshevik. Sounds like we need to get rid of this guy, Act. in all honesty. Who is this? Veteran anti-Bolshevik. Communist sympathizer. Mm, yeah, we'll probably get rid of him. So, Soviet equipment, yes please. Follow it up with. Ooh. Overthrow. Lietuviu Tautininku Sajunga. Huh. A revolutionary cabinet. How about Soviet military staff? Actually, does this start the Civil War or does this not? Oh, not a lot of support starts the Civil War. There it is, yeah. And we also got trucks just because we need trucks. We, we will absolutely need trucks. So, for supplies as well, motorize everything. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But Soviet military staff. After the Lithuanian Workers' Republic was disbanded, our military staff largely went into exile in the USSR. They, of course, must be brought home. As we're making up more civvies, of course, and like I said earlier, we're trying to do supply stuff, but... Uh, we need 200 trucks. That's not good. Not good, man. Not good. And we have a couple divisions here. 8 combat width, which is not very good. We have uh, 18 combat width, which is pretty decent. That's not bad. Ruby Generico. And 15 combat width. For a lot of arty. Literally three things of arty battalions and uh, a one support arty, which is pretty nice too. And then overthrow the government. Let's see, yeah. We need to be in civil war for this. Overthrow the LTS. We have gathered enough support to topple An Antanas Smetona and his regime. All we need to do is march on the capital and proclaim a new workers' republic. Just, just show up and just proclaim it. So we remove underfunded military, which is nice. The non aligned support start a civil war. The LKP becomes the ruling party. Oh, we do become a puppet of them. Well, crap. Man, that's okay. We become a puppet. Whatever. Let's see what happens with this campaign. Remove Iron Wolf partisans. Remove low Iron Wolf threat. 
So how many civvies do we lose if we do that? So your military staff is very good though, and let's go do that too. Nice. Yeah, so over here, who who will we have? A revolutionary cabinet. Ooh. Oh, there's one guy here. Ooh. Agricultural agricultural nationalist is not bad either. Staunch anti German. Demagogue. Uh that's not too bad. Uh, seems okay, pretty normal. <clears throat> revolutionary poet seems pretty good. Give more political power. I like that a lot. Priestly Prime Minister. Not bad either. Uh, but we can't get him. Marxist fundamentalist. Compassionate gentleman. Veteran minister. Is there anyone cheaper than that? How, how much? What do we have here? 100. Well, it's not too bad. We already don't get political power anyways. We'll probably want to get Albinus Sepas. Just for more infantry attack and defense. I want to wait till the Civil War starts until we get that one. So after this one. Direct Soviet intervention. We have proven unable to reclaim the government alone. And we must call upon our allies in the Soviet Union to aid us in our struggle. Just because... Uh, we can, and, uh, yeah. If we're going to be with the Republic anyways, they might as well give us everything we can. Oh. You will gain civilian factories based on the number of focuses you have completed in the Allied or Axis investment breath of your tree. Oh. <clears throat> so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, 7, 8, ish. Okay, interesting, interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Add theorists, military theorists, not super important we're all trained here too and we're casually missing 5500 guns 37 pieces of artillery and of course 200 trucks <coughs> which kind of sucks ah but here we go ah uh, they've gone to war with us very nice very nice very nice oh aren't you the anti-bolshevik hmm. hmm. well he's no maybe not we have two divisions Oh, never mind. Okay. Oof. I'm like, holy crap, we have two divisions. Are you kidding me, bro? So, we gotta be over here now. Not too bad. And let's see what we can do. So now, we became an SR. We're about NSS Snickus. Snickus. Oh, so cute. Uh, Guarantee Society still. Uh, Catholic Opposition. Direct Soviet Intervention. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Prince of Terror. Communist Revolutionary. Hmm. I definitely want to get uh, one of these guys. The poet, yeah. We only get point two, so I, might, I still want to save it. Maybe we'll see. Do we have any planes? No. Do we have any ships? No. Actually, if we can keep these guys in place. That'd be great. Oh, and there goes field marshal. So a new field marshal, Vincas. Yes. Not bad. Pretty good so far, I'd say. Pretty darn good so far. Just, can you just go in? Why are they so weak? Well, of course, it, we're not that strong either. In some areas here, but... Um, we might win this Civil War before they intervene. Are we still losing weekly stability? No, we're not. Still 36? I like that one. What if we just held off? Just like hold. I want, I want the Soviets to invade. I want to see what they're going to do. Actually, no, we don't have the peace conferences on. Let's not do that one. My bad. <laughs> there you go. Palanga? Very nice. Yeah, mm, well. Uh, that was a waste of doing a focus, I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to do this 14 day progress. My bad. Whatever. Um, Revolutionary cabinet. Yeah. Now that we've returned to the right to our rifle plates as the Star Wars Sentinels of the lower class, we may once again assemble a cabinet of ministers aligned with the ideology of a new state. Actually, we just call them in. Oh, we can. <clears throat> That's fine. There you go. Nice. My bad for wasting that 90 days, but whatever. Ah. Nothing like willingly becoming a puppet. Hey, he's got the initiative. Nice. Good, 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 good. It's all good in the neighborhood. Nice. And we won! Oh, the Soviets were here. Oh, goodbye, guys. Oop, we probably can't send spi- Wow. This is definitely ahistorical. We can't send volunteers, though. God dang it. That sucks. Alright, whatever. Oh, resistance activity. Oh. The Force Brothers are preparing to commit acts of treason within our nation. We do not yet know what they'll do, but we know that it will, of course, be actively disruptive towards our goals of spreading socialism throughout the country. Major raid. Oh, that's not good. Oh, wait, what happened to our divisions? 
Oh, we got all oh, those are Soviet volunteer divisions. No wonder we we're doing so well, duh. Uh, so that's okay. So that's not good for us. Oh boy, we don't have manpower. Oh man, this sucks. Can we even build here? We're building some civvies, but that's pretty much it. Oh, hello. You're going. To... Wait. Don't tell me. You're going to go become puppet as well. Oh, that means we're probably going to do some funky stuff then. God dang it. They have access investments though. Are you doing the exact same thing as we are? Why are you doing the exact same things as we are? What the heck, bro? Oh, they didn't do that one though. Um, well, that's the case. I, we got to annex them eventually, so we might just do some funky stuff with them. So, squash all resistance. Ban fascism. Ooh, that's pretty good. Influence of neighbors. Belarus, Lithuania, Belarus, SSR. Actually, are they a puppet already? Oh, they are. That's so stupid. Um, squash all resistance. Oh, the Lithuanian Independent SSR requests a Latvian invasion. If they accept, Lithuanian Independent will be put immediately at war with Latvia. We want Estonia too. I'm the Baltic Reds. So we'll be known as a Baltic Socialist Republic. We get accords on everything here. Prepare for the Germans. Honestly, this is a good one to take. I would rather take this one than these two, just because we can get them eventually. But we do want to take this focus. So focus on the chair. I would love to do. Hmm. Seeks to establish Lithuania Belarus. Oh, they accept. We get more states transferred to us. One, two, three. Oh. We become the Lithuania Belarus SSR. Oh, that's, that's so much nicer. Oh, I love that one. In the bourgeoisie dictatorship. We could try it. The concept of uniting Belarus in the Baltic is not a foreign one. Long ago, Lithuania and Belarus Soviet Socialist Republic existed as a harmonious fusion of these two seemingly different peoples. Socialism knows no bounds of culture and language, and we see little reason why Lithuanian and Belarusian workers cannot coexist. Nice. And let's go and do this. A poet. So, Al, we can get some political power, or at least more than usual. Because after that one, uh, I do want to do this one immediately after that, and the bourgeoisie dictatorships. And then we'll go and start doing squash all resistance. <sighs> yeah. Uh, we got we, It's a race, we'll get to the Sony ones, I guess. Maybe. Or to squash all resistance next, anyways. There are still yet people who believe socialism to be the enemy of Lithuanian sovereignty. And these people must be rooted out if we are to advance the revolution. Absolutely. Are we still missing manpower? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So bad. We only have a total population of 3.5 million. Poland's killing itself, too. Oh, a peasant uprising. Ooh, I don't think I've seen this one yet. Do we have corn this? Yeah, we do. So, led by Ignacy. And then we have. Stanislav, dude, peasant hero. Organize a peasant strike. The leftist gem. Oh, that's kind of cool. Raise a black Madonna. Oh, huh. all right. Well, we'll see what happens. Green Poland is very, I'll be honest, really disgusting to me, but whatever. Oh, these guys are doing really quite well down here. For now, at least. Um, we'll see. You're democratic, but if you go communist too, that'd be kind of cool. Anything else up here? No, resistance activity kind of sucks, but that's okay. So what is this? Oh, oh no, the Estonians! Oh, they they crushed their civil war. Oh, okay. Huh. All right. Uh, which one is this? Daily democracy support. Ooh. If that's the case, we need to go to war them immediately so they don't go to war. Don't join the Allies. God dang it. Uh, the Baltics are, are dominated by so-called neutral dictators. With the backing of the military and without the consent of the people, the proletariat of the Baltic are oppressed under capitalist dictatorship. It's only by the hands of free Lithuanian workers that these workers, kept separate by unjust borders, may share in a glorious liberation. Yeah. Question: Estonia invasion, yeah. Wow, okay. Even though we can't do anything about it, uh, I hope to God that they give us this. You know what, save... Please, Stalin, give us this. <laughs> even though we're not even connected to them, but whatever. <clears throat> what do they say? What do they say? Mm -hmm. Do we get it or not? Okay, they agree. The word is returned from the Soviet Union in regards to the Lithuanian request to form a united Lithuania Belarus SSR. He also still is excited by the opportunities presented by this unification between mainland Eastern Europe and the Baltic region, or nation, claiming that such a union will inevitably bridge a gap between the East and West, easing the ability to spread the revolution across the continent. Lithuania grows larger. Oh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> oh, I love it. We're not even connected. Oh, we're going to kill these guys off. Oh. Oh, we don't. Oh, God, we don't have cores on them. Oh, okay, we do. Okay. Woo! Woo! I was getting worried there. 
I was going to get a little worried. Did you get any more manpower? Boris Brothers Propaganda. A number of anti-communist publications have made their way into the hands of the Lithuanian citizens all across our nation. But the propaganda attacks the very character of An Antanas Snikios, characterizing him to be a traitor and a Soviet asset. The nature of these publications glorify Lithuanian nationalism. Rejecting the international values of communist revolution, no doubt, national sentiment has begun, or been bolstered by the underground distribution of these publications. Traitors, traitors all. Yeah, we gotta go to the extensive description. Having two divisions is not enough. Um, honestly, we will literally have to call in the Soviets to help us out here. Because we don't have enough divisions. So... Yeah. Request a Latvian invasion as well as an Estonian one. Because we, we don't know enough divisions. We don't have enough manpower. We have three. As long as you're not guaranteed by the Allies, that's all I care about. The peasant Union seems to be doing really good against the nationist Poland. Uh, France. Uh oh. Are they going fascist? Political violence. They might be going fascist, maybe. I'll uh, get more construction speed, too. Spain is. Well, those national Spanish are doing quite well. Italy still being Italian. Yugoslavia is not decided to kill itself this time around. We have the Republic of Turkey. Uh, China. Oh, we have Jing China already. Wow, look at that. Uh, you guys doing. You went down the line, it looks like. Shangxi. And they're doing the workers' dictatorship. Nice. Nice job, solid. Wow. You're really beelining to get rid of all that stuff there, don't, aren't you? Aren't you Soviet boys? Kind of got a weird face. Oh, is that a crow's peak? Hmm, maybe. Um, yeah. I hope they intervene. Please let them intervene. Please, 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 please. And this way we can save the Soviet Union from doing a couple focuses. But just in case, like normal, we'll save as we have a little bit of coffee to keep us nice and warm. Or content, or caffeinated. All right, Soviet Union boys, what do you say? Seize the means of production? Uh, actually, this would not be too bad either. United Baltics, SSR. Uh, I'll do a squash all resistance. Yeah. So people who believe socialism to be the enemy of Lithuanian sovereignty, and these people must be rooted out if we are to advance the revolution. Pretty much. Remove Catholic opposition, and get Catholic opposition. Or is it just a worse, a better effect of it? Ban fascism? Yeah. Come on, agree, agree. Uh-oh. They need to be called in. Okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God we got the Soviet Union to help us out. Oh, my goodness. Now, I hope to God that we actually get all the territory here. Oh, we're actually getting attacked, too. Look at that. Amelia Earhart, please let us get all the territory. Please, 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 please. Oh, the capital's right there. Yeah, I don't really want to attack with, like, no manpower. Oh, they entrust with Lafia. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Paradox. Thank you for uh, also giving me access to uh, No Step Back as well, but It is a great day for the Lithuania-Belarus SSR. After the valiant campaign fought by our comrades, Yosef Stalin, or the Soviet Union, has rightfully declared that the newly liberated Latvia, along with his brave workers, will fall under our jurisdiction. This brings yes, us yet yeah, another step closer to a united Baltic state powerful enough to fight off our enemies of the working class. That's a natural choice. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Paradox. Thank you, Stalin. Reform the Commonwealth. Can we still do that one? That'd be kind of cool if we could. What do we just... If these guys win... Oh, we can't do... Oh, we're accepted. We can't go to war. God dang it. Can you guys just go in? Oh, that's where Panu is. Huh. Ah, okay. Okay, that's kind of dumb of me. Come on, guys. Please take it. Well, let's hopefully get some army XP, too. Yeah, we gotta get more manpower. Holy crap, it's so bad. 0.5 a day. Oof. Nice. And circlement. Good job, guys. Yay. Good job. Are they interested us with this as well? Great. It's a natural choice. So now we got a lot of resistance. Oh boy. And then a United Baltic SSR. Oh, thanks guys. Though distinct in culture, language, and identity, there's long been a brotherhood and camaraderie between all three Baltic states. It must be acknowledged that our neighbors are as much comrades as fellow Lithuanians, and the workers stand only to lose if we do not unite into a singular workers' republic. 
The Baltic Socialist Republic, huh? Oh, we have to be fully independent for that one, so we can't take that decision, which sucks. Oh, resistance is going to get really high here. Oh boy. Um, if anything, uh, do that one. I, th Ooh, I think that's a better one to do. Yeah, that's a better one to do because it actually has cavalry on there. It's not bad. Two hundred anti-air, not bad. Actually, can we request garrison support? Oh, dang it. They don't, what do you mean? You don't have manpower? Are you kidding me? Oh, skirmish for the Force Brothers. Well, on patrol and colonists, guards of forces were ambushed by Force Brother Ray. Though damage was sustained by our side, it was largely negligible. News of the skirmish was quickly spread among the local locals, and many began to see the Force Brothers as champions of Lithuanian nationalism, challenging An Antanas Sneekos as legitimacy's leader. That sucks, bro. Still going up, though. Nice. And we're getting more manpower back, too. So now we got to wait 70 more days for this one. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Yeah, that's really bad. Spain actually might die now. How did you guys lose? You were doing so well up there. So well. Oh, anarchists. Not even once. Um, I would prefer that one. Let's see. Lithuanian Red Rifleman. That actually pretty good. Five more divisions is really good. Rely on the paramilitaries. Okay. Recruitable population. More daily economy support. Ooh, more population. Oh, yes. A purge of our own. Uh, that'd probably be good to do. Popular resistance. Remove popular resistance. The Forest Brothers will no longer cause damage. Carry the revolution. Revolution West. Finish invasion. Path to the North Sea. Well, let's do a purge of our own. Even through our best efforts to quash all resistance, there's still those organizing the shadows, conspiring against the proletariat to restore a capitalist dictatorship in Lithuania. We must conduct a popular purge, rooting out any members of the old government and any who support them. Yeah. Yeah, we lose a lot of stuff here. That's not good. Oh! 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 I thought they were going to go communist. They still might, but still. Hey, Torres! Um, I hope you have volunteers from... We need 30 divisions. We have three um, other nations, but still. Oh, so with this campaign, does that mean that Germany's going to try to strike us first and early on? Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, I forgot about that. My bad. Mm. Well, come on, win, 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 commune. Guaranteed by a lot of people, though. Oh, oh, that's not bad. Well, that helps out, I guess, a little bit. Unification of the Baltics. It's necessary for survival. Look at that. We're the BSR. A purge of our own. And crush the Forest Brothers. The Forest Brothers have, have been a blight on our nation since their takeover, sabotaging our industries, railroads, and disrupting official government demonstrations. We must venture into the forests of Lithuania and root out these misguided individuals. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Anti air would be good, and. Oh, actually, we have more than enough guns now. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Still 37, recon would be nice. Grab some field hospitals? I don't have to really use those too much yet, but those would be pretty good to get, grab. Oh, we're a nice little color. Why aren't we red? We're, we're socialists here. Why are we not red? The world may never know. Mm, trucks. We have more than enough trucks. Anti-air would be pretty good as well. Alright, well, whatever. Um... We have no ships. We don't believe in ships here in Lithuania, or the Baltics. So, yeah, feeling pretty good about this one. Not too bad. So, yeah, we definitely have to kill off Poland. Okay, never mind, they went po Uh... Huh. Well, that's the case. We'll go here. Carry the revolution west. Well, I'll do the best we can. I don't want them in our government. I want their territory. Bro! I might do some funky stuff off screen because we have one, two, three tiles here. Vilno, Vileshka, and Novogrodek. And police. Or whatever you pronounce it as. As tiles that we need. So. Huh. Hope they're creating up action. Force Brothers Stafford Equipment. Over the past few weeks, a number of rifles and other military equipment has vanished from the production lines, making their way out of the factories without even reaching the hands of the Lithuanian Red Army. The source of the missing equipment has been revealed to be the Forest Brothers. Though the government is now 
Aware of the perpetrator of this crime, it'll take a number of weeks to time the range on the production lines and ensure that not a single bullet makes its way into the barrel of a Forest Brothers rifle. We will end these traders. Wow, factory output minus 40%. Holy crap. But those winning a red rifle, man? Our army must be made up of only those willing to defend socialism within the Baltic Socialist Republic and spread it amongst the populace of the world. And this may only be achieved by restoring the Lithuanian Red Riflemen. Core population is... Less than 50 million. That's not bad. Um, hmm. We are on extensive conscription as well, so... Partial mobilization would not be bad. Um, stability would be pretty good, too. I think we best... I want to do this one. But we need more daily army XP gain. 0 0.09 army drills point. Oh, that's, that's a little better actually. That's 200 PP. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's probably best to wait. So much PP. But at least we don't have to garrison anything anymore. At least for now. Oh, we have two subs. Look at that. Train until you die. Um, Lucas Zemitis. Cool. Might as well go for the one guy, the only guy we can get. Felicas Baltusis Zemitis. Might as well get him, right? Might as well. And then realign the paramilitarists. There are many paramilitary groups throughout the Baltic Socialist Republic, most of which are devoted solely to the protection of Lithuanian self-determination. While admirable, it would be preferred if these groups were to see us not as Soviet puppets, but the logical continuation of the Lithuanian state. Get more communism, hurt a recruitable population factor for four months, and get new red riflemen, and get more population, which is absolutely crucial for what we need here. Wow, we got four divisions, guys. Four divisions. And honestly, just convert yourselves to all this. This one this is a better template. We can go with the artillery one, but I'm feeling not artillery ish. How do I volunteers from anyone else? Of course, they don't have either, but still. And we got a gun. No, we're doing well in equipment. Well, it's all green, at least. Not bad. Four fatty divisions. Do we have any planes? Let's use some planes, even though we have no manpower. Oh, now we have not manpower. That just said something. Nice. And it's now 38. Happy 1938, everybody. Let's get some more research speed. Oh, we have five. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, they're 24 combo. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. Awesome. Also, since we're here, too. Uh, big bomb. There you go. Nice. After that, carry the revolutionary. The revolution west. The revolution does not stop in the Baltic. Almost the entirety of Europe's lower classes slave away in factories under the rigid boot of capitalism. And only Lithuanian workers are capable of liberating them. And we'll free the workers of Poland, which actually... Yeah. Oh, thank God for that one. Please don't join the USSR. Please don't join the USSR. As much as great as great, good to see them go red. The one campaign we don't want them to go red is, is the one campaign where they do go red. Or at least they won't probably join the Allies. At least that's a good thing. Spain? Yeah, they're not looking good. Look how weak they are compared to the Nationalists. Letting the AI do anything is always an issue. So, we can ban fascism, right? Yeah. Current situation allowing fascist parties to continue to organize would undermine our ability to govern effectively. Drastic measures need, will need to be taken. As they should be. Alright, let's go over here too. Thank you very much. A little bit of manpower. We have 10 divisions. Oh, it's so nice. I just want to get another... I want to actually work on our land doctrine. Um, I always choose Grand Battle Plan. I prefer it, honestly, because you get a lot of entrenchment, and we're going to need that, but... Mm, defense, integrated stuff. But I love... I love Grand Battle Plan so much. Superior, superior firepower. More soft attack. Spur support. Honestly, it just makes more sense for us to go Grand Battle Plan, I think. Because we don't have the industry for it. We want to go this way. Just because the entrenchment is so good. Plus 10 fat entrenchment. Oh my goodness. Just, yes. Yes. But at least we get more population now, which is awesome. Alright, so after that one, free the workers of Poland. 
Though the Poles once ruled the Baltics, they are now prey vulnerable, are vulnerable prey to the predatory regime of the German Reich, who must defend our comrades in the south and unite them under Polish Socialist Republic. Don't question the Polish People's Republic. We prefer the Polish Socialist Republic. A major difference between those two. A huge difference. The biggest difference. We're still having a gear in society, which sucks. Workers' Republic, not bad. Resistance Purge, not bad. And, you know, militarizing them or whatever. Overall, I'm just going to say, not bad. Yeah, I think the Nationals going to win here. That's going to suck. How's Asia looking? So, with these guys going non-aligned... Uh, I forget which way that is. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, Code of Faction. The Mediterranean Army. Pre oh, so they're going to go... Oh, boy. Oh, they're still going to join the Axis, though. And the preemptive war against the Soviet Union. So, basically, the Soviet Union, we're going to put them in a two-front war against Japan and Germany early on, then. All right. Okay. German rocketry, huh? Well, that's not good. Um, is it better to wait for war support? Can we get a war propaganda yet? No. Well. Go and go partial mobilization then for now. Zog submits. It's a little better. 12 is not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh, 13 divisions. Look at that. Keep training, keep training, keep training. The red riflemen are so good. Well, as compared to what we have already. Uh, do we have any... How much support equipment? We have no truck. Okay. Artillery's not bad. Support equipment's not terrible. I could probably slowly start converting some of you guys over. Send half you guys. And Poland needs to die. A path to the North Sea. We'll probably do a Finnish invasion. Finland is, to us, a lost brother. Bound under the shackles of capitalism. Only by rev violent revolution can Finland be freed just as the Baltics have been freed. Not bad. Oh, what was this? Decisive battle? That was not bad. Yeah, for half the cost? 0 0.06? I mean, it's not as much, but the 4th International? Not bad. Uh, okay. Four weapons, nice. Very nice, very nice. Well, it's a little ahead of time. Radar, maybe? What do you? What do the Soviets do? National Specialists, alright. The Munich Agreement? Yeah, I'll go to war those guys. Eastern development's not bad for them, too. For Spania. Spania. Why? What are the Germans up to? Nothing. Oh, they annexed. Yeah. Oh, they even got Denton Line as well. <clears throat> um, oh, hello. Interesting. Are they going communist? Interesting. Um... We even can we, we really can use excavation, but still. The Baltic Socialist Republic requests a Polish invasion. Just casually gonna request one. No biggie. Do we even have enough divisions to guard our entire border? No, we don't. That's probably a bad idea. But we're gonna do it anyways. Look at that. And we're out of manpower again. God dang it. We're still mobile. Oh, we're still mobilizing quite a bit. Nice. Very nice. Go ahead for you as well. Well, this goes okay for us. We're going to need some serious engineers here. 15 divisions, not bad. But as long as the USSR helps us out, we'll be okay, right? Right? Leftist shim. Alright, let's save just in case, like normal. And see what happens. We should wait to do a Finnish invasion. Uh, rejoin the railways. The Russians and Germans who occupied us have seen us as nothing more than a rural backwater, but no more. Lithuania shall be industrialized to its maximum potential, starting with an upgrade of our railways and infra infrastructure. Say yes, say yes, say yes. Come on. Oh, yeah. Hey, they joined us. Yay. It'd be a good experience for uh, the Soviet Union, too. Oh, they canceled on the Bro, bro, why'd you cancel on these? Yeah, doing a general attack would be kind of stupid right now. Um, are they... Are they? Oh my gosh, they're actually bombing us. Uh, nice. Good. Computing machine, good. 
Come over here, get some output. I'm out. I'm come trying to get down here soon too. Let them move around a little bit. It's a little, a little easier to hit. Good. Three v one, not bad. Oh, excuse me, oh, so you know, this is our territory. Should be able to win here too. Nice. Keep going down the railroads. See what you can do. Becoming an infantry leader, becoming a ranger and a trickster. Maybe, yes. Let them move around a little bit more, that's fine with us. Oh, yeah, no, 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 this is way too far. I don't care about the Soviet territory. We join the railways. Um, attract workers to Kalanis. Modernize the industry. That's what's better to do. Oh my gosh, yeah. So much better to do. For too long, Lithuania's output has been defined by agriculture, but no more. We must concentrate our industry around the major city centers in each state if we are to turn Lithuania into a modern economy. Pretty much. Alright, so what are the Soviets up to? Are they going to do anything? I mean, we can still keep getting the crap bombed out of us. So, uh, hopefully the Soviets start attacking maybe a little bit more. That would be really beneficial if they could. Or at least if they would. Um, so, yeah. Not bad. Pretty good. Nice. Can you guys actually go there? Yes. Distance purge. Nice. Ooh, actually. It's not bad either. Help them out. Actually, for Vilno, yes. That'd be a good supply base. Well, we did. We are the ones who did want the war, so I guess it makes sense why they're not doing anything. But whatever. Keep them in place. So they should be able to win down here. Hey, two interventions encircled. Yes. Good job, guys. Good job. How many we lost? Two thousand versus twenty-five thousand. Very nice. Probably want to do this quickly though. Hmm. Yeah. Not bad. Alright, come on, come on. We are really concentrating our forces up here, though. So that's good. I want these guys all up here, except for you. Go right there. We want to circle another division, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, please. You can do it. I know you can. Good odd, no. I don't want to force the attack, but we will if we have to. Oh. There goes anarchists. Goodbye, anarchists. There we go. Another, a whole one division encircled. Not worth much, but you know what? We'll take it. Okay, so it's just because I want you to attack doesn't mean you be stupid about it. Nice. Gotta be smart. Gotta be smart about it. And there goes Spain. The Spanish fascists have won. Oh! Okay, I did not expect Romania to join us, our alliance. But sure, why not? Beautiful. Alright, you know, let's, let's see if we can go in. Especially with the Romanians coming in now, too. Oh, hello. I didn't even notice this. Yeah, we should be able to do it pretty darn well here, then. Well. Alright, then. Happy 1939, everybody. I'll get more war support too. Move capital of Vilnius. Uh, uh, hold on. This is starting a little bit too fast for me now. Uh, uh, Finish invasion. Um, yeah. Renewed allied trade. Allied investments is not bad. Hmm. I want Axis investments, which makes no sense. Could probably do this one. Renew allied trade, but we can develop our own natural resources first. Green has made a country rich from trade with the Soviets, have the Allies, and the fellow Baltic states alike. And we do well to invest more into this industry by investing in farms across the nation. Oh crap, you better go fast, son, before the Germans get involved. Oh crap, no. Oh crap, why did you do that? Why did you call them in? No, you ding dongs, no. You morons. Oh, yeah, here's World War II already. You literally just killed off all your divisions that way, you stupid idiots. 
Oh, the AI. Not even once, man. Not even once. There we go. AI is just so incredibly stupid. Just focus on Poland. Why'd you get Romania here, too? Well, oh, even the French Commons going to lose, too. Oh, that's not good. My god, you just lost all those divisions for literally nothing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's so bad. Why? Why would you do that to us? Oh, this is so stupid. The AI. Can you actually win there? Probably not, honestly. Well, it is a good one. And now we're fighting the Italians, too. That's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, now they're pushing against us as well. They're doing some damage to us. Holy crap. You better not lose, son. You better not lose. Um, that's a case. Getting more war support will be very beneficial for us. But is there anyone else who can see when enemy air support goes down? Which is not bad. Uh, go military theorists because we want more land auction quickly. We'll be getting plenty of army XPs very, very soon. My, uh, to be honest, my main goal in this campaign was just to beat the Germans anyway, so. Uh, gotta love it. Oh, crap. Oh, that's a capital right there. Oh, that's not good. Why we put engineers on our soldiers, man? Why do we have to deal with strikes? We're a communist nation here, man. Are you ki are you kidding me, bro? Seriously? Hmm. Oh, Mexico is so. All right, so this is getting a little too funky. So I think I'm gonna go back and make sure it's not super funky for us. All right, everyone. So now I've actually basically kind of redid the war a little bit. Um, as you tell tell, we're still at war with the poles, but I did move in a little bit faster, and apparently the Soviet Union did move into here too. So. And also, uh, the common turn did join us once again, or not join us, uh, the, 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 the Romanians. Please just don't go to War Hungry yet. Please, 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 please. We need to kill these guys off first. But yeah, I did move it in a little bit faster than I did it last time, so we'll see what happens. Uh, don't go there. Go over here. You can cut these guys off. That's a much better thing to do than just winning right there. Oh, come on. And Spain was got killed off as well. Uh, nothing else has really happened off screen. Uh, that's fine that they joined the war as well, which kind of sucks that we have to get all the way down to Krakow, but whatever. Um, our force is pretty strong, but it does help that uh, the Poles actually killed off their own divisions up by force defense. So, not that many losses, but could be better. At 39, of course. Construction speed. Um, just literally go in. Go in there. I don't know where the divisions are at, but I I'm, not con I'm not concerned about them right now. So, uh, develop natural resources. Yeah, I think we read this one earlier, so yeah, why not? Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. We got him. Got it. Dang it. I hate being a puppet. Wait, it was puppet. What? Ah, wow, we can't get our territories. Ah! You know what? I might just go back and do the puppet screen. So at least we can hopefully maybe try to get at least our core territories. Maybe not. Maybe get a few days. I doubt they'll give it to us, so we'll see in just a little bit. All right, everyone. So now I have done the funky stuff off screen, and we do be looking pretty nice right now. Uh, let's see, we can't get everything from the Raj, which kind of sucks, but it's alright. Um, you know what, since the AI, uh, or we decided to trade a little bit, let's do that. Just because I had to become the Soviet Union to make sure that we actually got the territory, kind of sucks. I wish, like, honestly, if we had cores, I wish the AI would just give it to us, even though, you know, no, the, you know, I mean, the cores are pulling too, but uh, Romania just joined and they went to war with Hungary. Uh, so now we're going to be war with the Axis, but we're looking A-OK. -okay. 17 divisions, not great, but and, what? Wait, what? Uh, French colony is losing still. Oh, they're still gonna go over with Yugoslavia, so... Yeah, that's... They're manually justifying. Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't want to fight the Germans. No! <laughs> I don't want to fight the Germans, please! Please! Can we actually win here, maybe? Before they really just come in and kill all of us? One division versus... Oh, no, never mind. 
Uh, just hold the line if you possibly can, guys. Uh, oh, the Germans are coming in. Oh, hello. Uh, sure. Sure, guys. China. It's weird that they're setting us. Okay. World War Two attempt number two. Let's go in and probably lose. <laughs> oh, we can do it. okay here. Can we take one tile, please? Um, France joined the Axis. That is not expected, but okay. Um, I don't want to be bothered with them. So I'd rather take out Königsberg first. Do we have anyone? Oh, we need a new commander. And you know what I like about the no step back. That you can actually get a new general without having spent political power. So here's the Axis. Common turn. Let's get Yugoslavia on our side too. You guys can do it. Come on, let's go. I like throwing more divisions here too. Wait, why are you attacking over there? No, that was not good. Not good. They're influencing our politics. If you want to buy that, please go ahead, bro. All right, not bad. At least they're helping us out. Excavation's nice. I'll give us some better arty. Yes, please. Actually, do how much anti-air do we have? Not. We're not making any. Okay. Well, that's a little bit of a mistake, to be honest. We at least have enough guns for now. Uh, no, we don't. Holy crap! Why do we not have enough guns? All right, so we lost there. That's okay. Oh uh, yeah, we did get Warsaw, but we'll see what happens. As long as they don't naval invade us. Actually, uh, let's not invade. You know what? I'm sorry. We gotta cancel that focus too. Oh my goodness. We should just keep going for that one. My bad. I'm surprised they're not really attacking us though. Definitely more of that. I guess we're right there too. Let's see what you can do. Um, this is like we're winning somewhat around here. Hungary is definitely not doing great. Oh, oh, that sucks. For oh, we can see this too. French Commune as well. Why don't they go to war with Yugoslavia? Yugoslavia, please. Go to war with Yugoslavia, please. Please. Oh, please go to war with Yugoslavia. So you can call in the allies as well. Don't lose Warsaw. We already capitulated it once as a campaign. Uh, war propaganda actually would be pretty good at grab as well. <sighs> Why don't you go to war with the Dutch, eating dongs? Oh, they are attacking us a little bit. Oh, look at that. Nice. Uh, what are the Kalshis like? France. That's not a lot of divisions, France. Jesus Christ. 50,000, Reich. Uh, you've lost. Holy crap. French Commons lost a lot of guys. Please don't attack all willy nilly. Please, please, please. Don't be dumb. Oh! What the heck? Mexico! Mexico! Why did you. Why would. Why, why would you go to war with the Allies? How stupid are you? Oh my gosh. Don't go to war with the Allies, please. Please. How strong is Germany? It's probably still pretty darn strong, though. Um, yeah. I'm very disappointed that they're not attacking us, though. Because we'd lose instantly, but still. We have some anti-air. Um, that's the case. We have enough for that. Do we have enough for support artillery, too? Yeah, we do. Uh... AI, not even once, man. Yeah, it's gonna be a giant mess. One gigantico mess. Oh, at least they joined the commentary now. Which means now the Axis isn't fighting the Allies. So that's not too bad. At least they're fighting each other. Right? France has joined Italy as their enemy. Please hold out, Yugoslavia. That's actually not great, but. Fall. Crap. Um. Wait, you're fighting. Why are you not fighting the allies? Because we went to war with them. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I guess back sounds really good to us. Yeah, just hold. Oh my god, just hold the river. Just hold the line, bros. Dudes, you gave up. Sure, guys. Uh, yeah, we can do some gun stuff. We can do stuff. Stuff is nice. Can you guys actually attack here? What are you doing over here? Sun hold. No, we definitely cannot win there. No, definitely. It's a big fat N.O. 
All right, so it looks like they're going to attack us pretty soon. As soon as we lose this tower, we're going to start shifting our line a little bit further this way. Oh my god, you guys saw it. Guys, do not attack. Oh my god. <sighs> I mean, maybe down here is fine, but like... Hmm. Can anything here? Yes. Yes. Hmm. Army leader cost. Depends on level up. I think I would save our army XP. Naval XP, though, is not bad. It's all in a civil war, huh? Develop natural resources. We finally got that one done. Trade with neighbors. Uh, school of aviation. Uh, attract workers to countenance. The workers of the Winnie are spread desperately across the countryside, often working in the outdated agricultural sector. If we want to industrialize our nation for war, we must attract workers to the factories of countenance. Oh, now they're fighting. Oh, yeah, they're in a three front war. That's not bad. Hungary is losing still, slowly. And then rebuild the countess forts. During the independence wars, countess was more of a fort than a city, although the fortifications have largely been dismantled and forgotten. They must be rebuilt and maintained, ready for war. Or we can do domestic order mark. Come. Motor market or company. Foreign designers or foreign designs are fine, but we cannot rely on them in perpetuity. Lithuania is a proud nation. We must show the world that our designers and thinkers are just as adequate as those from the West. Oh my god. I, why? Why? I hate these stupid little strike thingies. Ah. One political power a day. Can we get up to 100 at least? Okay, move the capital. The Vilnius. You'll know. Oh, we get this ability, yeah. Yeah, that's worth doing. Slightly further away from the front, which is good. Uh, nothing over there from the Commonwealth. That'd be nice, but we can't do that one, so. Well. Better already, nice. Alright, anything you can do? 400? Yes. Artillery? Yes. And now we're out of political power. God dang it. There's only three divisions, man. The Jemanj Mamel. They're amassing an Ostpreußen, and the foreign ministry has pressured, presented us with an ultimatum. We're to immediately see the Mamel territory to them, or face a threat of military action. Should we agree to their demands? Of course we will. We're already at war with them, so what's the point? Mexico. Kill yourself, Mexico. My god. Stop just going to war with people. Oh my god. Stop going to war with people, Mexico. Mexico, stop it! Ooh. Your divisions, we actually might be able to win here now, maybe? Don't give me hope, don't give me hope. We need to take out Prussia, East Prussia, and then, oh, they're actually pushing back out, oh boy. Actually, some of these divisions looking, do be looking kind of weak. Oh, they're out of manpower. But they're in disarmed nation still, which is nice. They got plenty of manpower, uh, yes, 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 yes. You guys, plenty of manpower. This is just a giant mess, is it not? Hmm. Oh my god. You can. You, I know you guys can win here. Don't lie to me. I don't take lying very well. Thank you. Don't lie to us. Take those rails. They don't deserve them. Alright, let these guys spread around a little bit more. And 62. Not bad. So now they're winning against Rome. Oh my god, they're pushing in Romania. How much manpower do you have, Italy? Quite a bit. But, they're fighting the out. Are they fighting the Allies? They are fighting the Allies. And so is Germany, so eventually... The French government do be looking pretty weak, though. Oh, good. Towards Benelux is very nice. Nice. They're attacking us as well. Can we take a win here too? Maybe? Maybe not? Uh, no? Oh, it's big sadness hours. Big sadness hours. Here, go here. All in stone would be good to get as well. We just gotta find areas where we might be able to poke. Hey, we actually won there. Nice. Good job, guys. Nice. We're doing our part for the revolution too! Hey! Not bad. Yeah, don't worry about attacking. Just defend your territory that we just got. So, construction three. Get some excavation, maybe. Two divisions here, huh? That's nice. Take more rails. 
Maybe only by that, but it's good ahead. That's not worth it. 425 political power. That's absolutely not worth it. <sighs> That's annoying. I hate that one so much. Now come in here. Come into their hidey hole. Wow, hungry. They are special. But, let's go to the forts. But I want the factories first. Factories are more important for, at least to me. Bro, it's a single division. I guess it was two before they died, but whatever. We've lost 13,000. Poland's about ready to capitulate, just like the French. Um, the Germans have not lost nearly enough. We'll kill off 26,000 of them, though. Mm. I'd love to attack here, so we're going to circle a couple of German boys, but I kind of don't think we can. Do we not? Oh, those are the Soviet mountaineers. Where are you going, son? Yeah, you can't win here. That's what I thought. Is it give us air? Yeah, that's all because of air. Yeah, we can't really do too much here. Hmm. I would love to do a general. You know what? They leave. All right. It's fine with us. They took out the Dutch already. Huh. Um. Hmm. We're slow. Oh, there's Portugal doing stuff, huh? Portugal just doing Portugal things. That's not bad, actually. There you go. Not bad. You kidding me, bro? Bro, you kidding me? Let me slap you down. Are they? Are they leaving? The, go in. Everyone, go in. It looks like they're leaving the area, but they're not. But they are. But they're not. If anything, here, we got two subs. They can be used and abused. Uh. Okay. Mexico. Mexico. Why? Why would you do that? So stupid. Oh, they're pursuing interventionist policies anyways, but still. Yeah, America. Oh, look at this. Nice. My main goal is just to capitulate... Not capitulate them, but... To destroy Germany, which we'll probably save for the next episode. It won't be a super long video, but, you know, we'll see. Actually, we go right there. That would be better. Now we're racking up more losses. Hungary, Germany... 40,000? We'll definitely see. Go right here. Come on, take him. They're stupid little horses. Mexico is killing itself so hard. I've never seen a nation try to kill itself so hard. <sighs> of course they would. Königsberg? Oh, it's a frontline city. That's nice. It's nice, guys. God dang, we couldn't make it in the encirclement. Man. Oh, we're, oh, there's a lot of green, though. There's a lot of green, but it's still going to be quiet the struggle. Quiet the struggle. I want everyone to hold. Don't attack yet. Just, just kind of go around and just do what you need to do. Let the Germans figure out what they're going to do as well. And put some uh, stuff right there, right there, and then do some stuff right there. But, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to end the episode here, just because this has turned into a gigantic mess. But, I think in the next episode, we're just going to capitulate the axis, if possible. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow, as even Slovakia has become a major. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.